know now about the suspect, Hannah. Josh and Kim, police say that there were two women in the car with the suspect, Charles Berry, when he crashed here on Highway 58. They don't know who yet the children belong to, if anyone in that car. Children rescued from a crunched smoking van. The News Channel 9 Skycam shows police surrounding the wrecked vehicle. Two women sat on the ground, the driver taken away in handcuffs on a stretcher. I just figured I'd pull over and see what was going on. Kevin Pollock says he lives just up the road. He says he was driving down Highway 58 when he passed the end of this police chase. He saw the kids pulled from the wreckage. It was, it was shocking considering you have a little kid in the car or a kid and you're driving like that. That's kind of... Crazy. They're at 90 miles an hour at this time. Lieutenant John Harmon says the chase began when a trooper tried to stop James Barry for speeding on Highway 153. This is a prior mugshot of Barry. He kept going today, trying to get away. After driving through several counties and two states, police say he tried to lose them again right here. At which time he lost control of his vehicle and crashed. Troopers say they believe these children are between the ages of two and four. One of them, they say, was not properly buckled in as Barry hit speeds of up to 95 miles per hour. Luckily, troopers don't believe anyone inside was seriously injured. I hope everybody's okay and, and uh, the guy or whoever involved in this gets what he deserves. Barry is facing several charges, including endangerment of the children. Police are trying to figure out why he may have run. That mugshot that you just saw, according to court records, is from last year when he was facing a domestic assault charge. Reporting live off of Highway 58, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. Hannah, thank you. Harmon says right now only the driver is facing charges.